Hi, what's up, you guys? You already know we are Biggity. Back. What? Back. What? Back. Back. <laughs> yes, with another one. It is your G, Renee Lee. I am 821. Tick, 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 tick. And this is week 11 of your year 2021. Welcome back to Weekly Time Capsule. Welcome, welcome. What we got on for the show this week? Uh, just a little bit of all rap, no cap for you. No, we got to keep the all rap, no cap popping mm-hmm. in. Got the boy Kirk Franklin coming in with some viral moments. Yes, of course, we're going to mix a little bit of politics in there for you, too. Let's get right into it, then. Okay. So you talking about Kirk Franklin? Stop. <laughs> All my people, people say, say stop. hey, everybody say, yes. Speaking what? of, man, of course, you know, he went viral this morning because it seems like he was about to stomp his son out. Um, him and his son gets into, it was an audio that was leaked. Mm-hmm. Basically, uh, his son was disrespecting him. Uh, it was Kirk Franklin was captured not only cussing his son out, but also making some threats on the phone. Please, you got to check out the clip. I did it. I'll break your neck. Is that a threat? He just hung up the phone. You always take a sip on the clip. Sip on the clip. All mm-hmm. right, so, I mean, kids be getting out of line sometimes. I don't see nothing wrong, bro. You got to <laughs> My daddy didn't play no, what they say, what's that, Dream? Uh, James Brown? Papa don't take no mess, man, okay. you know what I'm saying? Kids get out of line. Bro, you know. Right. And it's like, I understand that we hold him on a higher platform or pedestal because he is a Christian and he is well known. But guess what? At the end of the he's day. He's still a human being, right? That's what I was going to say. He's, he's still, still a human. Right, right, right. And man. then his child is. Oh, how old is the child? I have no idea. Grown. But he cut, of course, in the clip, you can hear him cussing back at him and stuff, man. Yeah. Like, I don't know how y'all was raised, but, you know, my daddy was like, hey, shut up when I'm talking, <laughs> boy. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, you know, listen to me. And, of course, you know, your parents not trying to tell you to do anything wrong, but my daddy definitely didn't play no disrespect. Okay. Definitely didn't play no disrespect. Definitely. Man, man. 100% I agree. Man, let us, guy, let us know your <laughs> thoughts on this topic. Do you feel like Kirk Franklin was wrong just because, you know, he's a Christian? Not only that, he's a, a celebrity Christian, you know? <laughs> you know, they put, like he's you said, a they, human. They, exactly. I'm just asking the people. Right, I'm just asking people. Do you feel like the son was in the right? How do you feel? I mean, how would you feel if your child spoke to you in a matter that his child did, you know? Let us know mm-hmm. your thoughts as, as always. Ooh. Kind of okay. up today. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. You, you ain't taking enough time I feel that story. Let my son play around. <sighs> what you gonna do? Stop. <laughs> All my people, people say stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, this next viral moment Keep here. it right on rolling with the viral moment. Okay. So, a group of women caught on video coughing mm. on Uber drivers. During the cocoa. During the cocoa. During the panorama. So what happened? Well, do you want me to do this or you got it? Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. So what happened was <laughs> this Uber driver has this group of women in his car. Mm-hmm. He notices one doesn't have a mask on. So what does he do? Scoot. Stops the car, asks the lady, hey, can you put your mask on? Can you get out? Like, we can't do it. It's Coco, you know. Uh, and, and we four deep in this car. Ain't right, no right, social right. distancing going on. He trying to remain safe, hey, you know. Okay. So what they do? They get the coffin and pulling on his mask. They turn up. They one grab of, this phone. One of the, uh, take a look at the clip. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sip. Sip. Mmm. <laughs> man, come on, man. What's up, women? What's up? You got to take it away. What's up, Why women? are you looking at me when you say that? <laughs> I'm just that saying. is not in my character, <laughs> but 
Ain't no telling. I don't Ain't know no. if they were drunk. I'm not saying right, that what they true. did was okay. That's true. It was unacceptable right, at the end man. of the day. It man. was unacceptable because it's not that serious. I know that scared for his life, man. It's almost you using the, uh, the, 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 the not a, is it a disease? Yeah. It, the disease <laughs> as a weapon right there. That's a bio, biochemical weapon. It is a weapon. Right, right, right. Coughing on them. And, tell, then, and she actually said she, I got COVID. Right, I <laughs> got COVID. And she coughed on them, man. Yeah. Oh, God, bro. I know I would have went out swinging. All because this man asked you to put on a mask or to get out. And you, I'm sure you knew the rules because I'm sure they have in the Uber text message before you even get picked up. Yep, you got to yep. practice social distancing. You got to wear your mask. And you didn't want to Even without the them. rules, man. Come on. This is on a whole other level. You actually going out of your way to make a, feel, a person feel uncomfortable. Whether you have that or not. That's, and I'm, disrespect I'm sure that's them. A, right, right. That's an uncomfortable position to be in. The ladies did turn themselves in. Mm -hmm. uh, I did want to say that. too. Yeah, right. What? 32 24? Hours? Man, come on, come yeah. on. And they posted I think the driver too. was 32. I know. They $75,000. Right, right, God, dog. The same day. I think they said within hours. That is crazy, man. They was so ready I, for that. Then somebody, I think, didn't they talk about some people was raising money as well? Oh, yeah, for him. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. for him. He, okay. Yep, he got a GoFundMe account set up as well. Man. So people going people. People going people. People going people. That's what <laughs> <laughs> that's what it is. That's what it is. <laughs> As always, let us know your thoughts. Uh, how would you feel if someone was pulling on your mask, coughing on you, talking about they got COVID? Um, I mean, bro, I'm ready to fight. I'm I was about to say, I'm, I'm not even to about to be an Uber affiliate anymore because. <laughs> right, right. Y'all ain't protecting this or something. That's, okay. that's, that's almost. Man, I'm, I'm about to link that up with but, uh, terrorist attack. You know what? Do I do want to shout him out, though, because being a gentleman in that situation and you had three females doing all this aggressive, having oh, all yeah, this yeah. aggressive they behavior. They pepper sprayed him, though, Yep, man. at the end, too, and he still didn't swing on anybody or nothing. Like, Kudos shout to, out that to you. Guy, man. That, that, that is tough right there. Yep. But as always, let us know your thoughts on this topic. What would you have done in the situation? Mm-hmm. Now, right. we're going to hop right on down and give you some of that Mississippi made news. <laughs> All right, so guess what? In Mississippi, we have some new things taking effect. What's going on? What are we getting? New streets. We getting new streets? Hey! Let's go, Jackson. In Madison, not Jackson, though. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> there are a number of streets that are going to be remodeled or redone, renovated, however you say it in the street term, in Madison County. And uh, what's that deal? 1.9 million. And for guess repaving? what? It's going to be done in 150 days. Meanwhile, Jackson, Mississippi still is under a boil water notice. Wow. Plenty of streets that are not repaved, that need to be repaved, reconstructed. Right, right, right. But you know, the they're trying to decide what. We talked about last week how they And was the week meeting. before and the week before. Right, how they was meeting to come to terms and it still was nothing came to. But hey, let's not let those uh, Madison streets go to waste though, right? Is, what's wrong with the Madison streets? I done rode on the Madison streets. Yeah, I'm not saying all of them perfect because I haven't been all in the ins and outs. Man. But uh, you can't call them anywhere, right? Uh, not to my recollection, but hey, let's take a look at all the ones that are getting fixed. I'm seeing Clarkdale Road, Clarkdale Road Extension, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It's about 20 streets on here, so great job. We're going to give it up for Madison because, you know, they always give it. <laughs> they always get the job done, you know. <laughs> Let us know your thoughts on this topic. How do you feel about Madison getting their streets repaved in a $1.9 million contract? You know what that kind of reminds me of? That reminded me of when the Co when Coco first started mm -hmm. and everyone was sent home and they were saying that students were going to be doing virtual learning and that all the schools were going to oh, be goodness. provided with laptops for the students, right? right. And so, like... The school districts like Madison, Rankin, mm -hmm. are the ones that got majority of the equipment. And then the districts that really need it or have the students in the most need right. did not get that many. And then some of those school districts already have computers for their students that were issued out or iPads. Right, 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 and, right. You know. You digress. People are people. <laughs> people yeah. gone people. People gone people. <laughs> people gone hashtag. <laughs> people gone people. <laughs> 
right. Uh, let us, as always, if you're watching this on YouTube, let us know your thoughts. How do you feel personally yeah. about Madison in that not $1.9 million contract? Congratulations. To repave the streets. Mm. Now, how about a little mm. bit of politics? Mm. I know you're going to want to hear this. Mm -hmm. We got some politics. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously. Um, Y'all already know that uh -huh. third stimmy, stimmy hit. Okay. I it hit. <laughs> I don't know if you were at the mall, if you were on vacation, if you were en route to vacation, if you were chilling at home. But it hit. But it hit. And if it didn't hit, guess what? It is on, the, on way. the way. It it's is on the way. On the we way. had said last week that um Biden went on ahead and signed that that early for early. people to start getting it. And man, they did not waste any they time. They started the next day, I believe, right, right? I believe so. It was hitting accounts the next day. Mm. So if you was one of those lucky ones, I think it was like over ninety million yes. sent out the next day. Mm. Well, or within within a, that week. Right. Within that week. Ninety million dollars was paid within that week. So So definitely. don't let the government tell you that they can't pay your money. Unless it's within eight to six, <laughs> I mean eight to ten weeks, because you see how fast that turnaround was. Right, <laughs> right, they got them out. Like, That's nah. why Biden ended up slipping and falling. <laughs> <laughs> I told you that boy. That boy had been signing checks all week. <laughs> he was tired, he was boss. Tired. He was tired, <laughs> boss. Oh my goodness. So I mean, as always, let us know your thoughts. Yeah. How do you feel? Did you get your stimmy? What did you do with it? Did you ball out? Did you pay rent? Don't worry about how nobody else spent it. Right, that right, man. Spend your stimmy the way you want to spend your stimmy, That's man. Right. Do what you gonna do? Okay. What else we have for the people? All right. Now you know we got to move into all rap. No cap. Into it. Rack boy Cam wins a $1.7 million after Judge agrees that YFN Lucci mm. and PNB Rock stole his song. Mm. The song in question, y'all. Everything, every well, yeah, every day we lit. <laughs> Look, I'm about to switch it up on them. <laughs> so apparently, the song "Every Day We Lit" they released that in 2017. You remember that song, right? Yeah. I mean, shoot, we every still play it sometimes. I still yeah. hear it on the radio. It turns out that Rock Boy Cam actually had a song called "Everything Be Lit," and they he actually got some interactions with uh F Y N Lucci and P N B Rock. Why F N? What I keep saying? F Y N. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he done had interactions. They all done had interactions. I think he actually met up with the label at one point. Mm -hmm. I think they actually showed right. that Rock Boy Cam showed That's to see the him perform. That's the other crazy thing. Like, right, right. I think the judge say they was able to find over 70 similarities. Between to, the songs, man, right. Come on, man. Stop stealing people's songs, man. Mm. Come on. It, 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 it's sad because it happens a lot. Of course I was we just know, about to say that. It happens a lot, man. Of course, we know about, uh, uh, what's his name? The boy name man stole the song from Mississippi. Um, I know what you're talking about. Bone Crusher. Oh yeah, Bone it. Crusher. It happens. It's definitely part of the game, man. One of the things that that uh, Rob Boy Cam wanted to talk about during that though, he wanted to make sure everybody just make sure you got their business intact, man. Get your mm -hmm. copyrights to your song. Make sure you're doing everything by the books. Cause you see these dudes, man, they'll they'll take your sound and go global with it. You know, man, what? They'll go with it. They'll take. They might got connections you don't. So definitely make sure you got all of your paperwork and. and you know what I'm saying? When you're doing these songs, man, artists out here, they want money and, and fame, bro, and they'll use you to get it. Do you think it was a situation where the artist did it or where the label was like, nah, this is what we're about to run with, but you don't know? Shoot, I don't know. You know, I wasn't there, but I ain't, ain't nothing too far-fetched. It could have went either way, you know? True. Could have been hyped up to do it. You know, hey, man, we need you to say uh, what you guys got for us. So, exactly. You know, they went to find the hottest song. Okay, we like that. The boy turned up. Let's make Let's our turn own it version. Up even more. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, I haven't seen that happen a couple of times, honestly. So, man, it's crazy. Sad day. Uh, definitely give us your thoughts on this. How do y'all guys feel? Do you think, you know what I'm saying, Pen B Rock and Wife N Lucci was wrong? Of course, I feel like they was wrong. Yeah. Do you feel like they was wrong? Do you think Justice was served with uh your boy getting 1.7 million? Mm -hmm. And I heard they ain't even show up for court, man. They just knew right. they were, oh, man. They ain't no even fighting that. <laughs> You know, you, you fighting this, so they ain't go waste their time, man. Y'all stop stealing people's stuff, man. Yes. Let us know your thoughts and comments on all the topics that we discussed today. That does seem to be it. What? 
Right, 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 right. Do you got any right. special news? No special news this week, but make sure you stay tuned for... Wait, 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 wait. You actually, you, you had an interview this week, though. I did. Oh, yeah, guess yeah, what? Yeah, boom, yeah, bada, yeah. boom, bring it back on down. Right. So, Renee Lee, outside of Weekly Time Capsule, I did check in with Speak Aloud TV. Um, that was l this past week, and we're going to be checking in, in again with them this week for a ladies' night. Okay, okay. So be sure to follow on Facebook. That's Speak Aloud TV. Okay. Shout out to Feet, as in Pay Me, and DJ Reese. DJ Reese, we got to get them on the show, man. We mm -hmm. got to get them on the show, man. Shout out to them. Definitely. Um. Uh, is that it, Nick? Now, that is <laughs> it, okay? So, of course, as usual, thank you so much for checking in with us. It is your G, Renee Lee. I am 821. Tick, 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 tick. And that was week 11. That one. <laughs> in your year 2021, thank you for choosing Week of the Time Capsule. Don't forget to like, <laughs> comment, and subscribe. session today.